Hey, not to the Glam fam, it's your girl Jana, and this is my WW Weekly for the week of May 17th, 2020. So, for you guys that may be watching this for the first time, the purpose of these videos is to show to share my week and discuss like any challenges, any wins whatever the my ww weekly topic was for the week which is not always related to weight loss sometimes it's self-care sometimes it's um just um healthier eating habits so just health and wellness and and then like whatever my goals are for the next week all right so my challenge for this week was the weather and just feeling kind of groggy because the weather kind of sucked um, it was colder, it was windy, it was rainy, so normally I walk during the day at work. That didn't happen at all this week until Friday. So that kind of made me tired because that usually gives me a nice little boost of energy during the day. And then when I get home in the evening, I can get a workout in. It didn't happen this week. I was so tired. Plus, I didn't really get the things that I needed to get from the grocery store for the week and so I was not able to really do good meal prep for the week and so again that just kind of doesn't give you the energy because you don't have the fuel so that was my challenge this week but my win was that I did not gain and I did not lose so my weight stayed pretty much the same the entire week and so I consider that a win and the weather is better I was able to get a walk in on Friday so that felt really good to kind of get back in the swing of things as far as that goes this week the my WW weekly topic was around your drink and how it's important to stay hydrated but we can lose a lot of waste basically a lot of calories and smart points for those of us that are on um ww on drinks so just thinking of different ways to you know spruce up your water adding fruit of course to add a little bit of flavor i personally like drinking the flavored uh sparkling waters another place that i was losing a lot of calories and smart points was in my morning coffee because I have a little bit of coffee with my creamer is how I kind of worked and I was using the flavored creamers the little one tablespoon uh, little cup creamers that my job provided for free and I needed about three of them to really make it happen and that was six smart points they were like 45 calories per tablespoon and I felt like I could do so much more with those points. So what I started doing was using a sugar-free creamer. And if I really wanna make it sweet, I add a zero calorie sweetener and boom. That's kind of how I've been doing it. And I literally cut the points in half just using a sugar-free cre creamer and it, the taste is the same. That's the thing I really love about WW is it's not that you can't have anything you want to have you can't absolutely have it but you you know you can't have all all the things I do also want to share um, the topic for this week's your life in focus virtual experience with Oprah and WW the topic for this week was connect and it was all about relationships and maintaining or not maintaining relationships during the times we're living and so i want to share a couple of takeaways that i got from this week one thing that was brought out was that disaster is a relationship accelerator either to connection or disconnection where where do you want to land and either one is good either whether you're connecting or disconnecting sometimes that that can be just as good as the connection I'm having the kind of opposite thing where I'm not in the house with my partner all the time to where we feel like we are uh, on top of each other we're actually still you know working as normal actually more um, because we work for in the healthcare field so 
you know we still got to go out here and grind and so when we come home when we do come home then yes we are stuck in the house in this stress and the anxiety i think it it makes you thin skinned we're all thin skinned right now For something that seems like it's so innocent it can hurt it can sting and you're like i don't even know normally that wouldn't bother me but now it's bothering me and so it was important to recognize that and say okay my partner may have some thin skin right now and so i have to be a little more cautious about how i approach them um, one quote that she mentioned was that love is choosing to be your best self when your partner is not their best self another point was don't do not just survive but live this is going on longer than we anticipated i think a lot of people anticipate it it's not just a one boom the disaster happened and so you're recovering and it went from two weeks to four weeks to six weeks to two months to three months and who knows how long and we're not going to go back to how things used to be and so there is some anxiety around that and people are in survival mode and been in survival mode much longer than most people should be in survival mode and so how do you flip the switch under the circumstances and still try to live and not just survive but live live and enjoy the moments small gestures of attention to show that other person that you see see them and 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 not just um for what they're doing but um the thoughtfulness behind the action or the quality of the task so like let's say your partner cooks breakfast you know and and you not just thank them hey thanks for cooking breakfast but maybe you talk speak to the quality of the food or the thoughtfulness behind the the cooking of the breakfast or thinks you know you got up really early i know this is not normally what you would do but i appreciate it you know just going a little bit further asking you know how are you did you sleep well you know is there anything i can do for you today to make your day go better i think like she said it's not a lack of feeling it's a lack of expressing it we do love the person we do care about them we are worried about them but we're challenged trying to express it because we have so much of our own stuff going on our own anxiety going on so trying to be mindful of that and then take the lead in that they ask us to choose a word that we're going to focus on for the week and then the action that goes with the word so my word for the week is shepherd a shepherd leads a flock the the shepherd's not just walking around telling the sheep where to go you know he he's leads and then gently redirects if i see things going a certain way or whatever it's not about hey you know move over here move over there is to just be mindful and be present that hey that person might be struggling they may be anxious they may be thin-skinned and so hey just lead just quietly lead in the direction that you want to go and um to drink more water because i have not been drinking as much water as i would like to so i think i'm going to start adding a little bit of frozen strawberries to my water this week just add a little flavor because i got a huge bag of frozen strawberries and i'm probably not going to make use them all for smoothies so i think i'm going to use it in my water so that is my ww update for this week i hope you guys found that helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video